Macy's White Flower two-day sale is this Thursday and Friday. Save 20 to 50% store-wide. Make it special. Make it Macy's. If road signs told the truth, even more people would be driving the all-new 170 horsepower Accord V6. More parts. A lot more parts. Long block engines. We listen to our customers and redesign Chief Auto Parts. Here in Sacramento, Chief has added thousands of parts. Over 5,000 more. Lose that parts book. Our new electronic catalog can access over 900,000 parts. More help. There's extra staff on weekends, so it's easier to get what you need. Finally, CV Half Chefs. The all-new Chief. We take care of you like you take care of your car. Fox Sports is here for you! This is Fox 14 News at 10. There's a powerful winter storm just getting started here in the valley and forecasters warn it could get real nasty. Hey, good evening, I'm Mike Stevens. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Donna Cordova. As you saw and heard, the gusty wind already here has been blowing all day long, and the heavy rain has just started. Let's go outside now to our own Fox 40's Terry Cox. Terry, a little bit cold out there, I see, and we have a question for you. Is it serious enough for all this rain that we're gonna be needing sandbags this time around? Donna, you never can tell with weather. You're right, it is raining out and it is windy out, and the forecasters say we have two very wet storms on the way, as you can see, one just hitting the valley now, the other one expected on Saturday. Now, we did see some rain earlier today. Nothing compared to what's on the way, according to the forecasters. Most areas around town today got about a quarter of an inch of rain, if that. Now, forecasters say that the lull between storms this evening should not fool any of us. The wind has picked up. We're talking 20 to 40 miles per hour with gusts of 60 miles. Anyone doing any driving tonight in trucks or motorhomes can expect a very treacherous trip. Now, a lot of our creeks and waterways already swollen with a prediction, listen to this, of three to five inches of rain by Saturday. You never know what will happen. Now, here's the numbers that you might want to keep close by. The city of Sacramento does have sandbags ready now if we need them. We don't want to scare anyone, but if we do need them, the number's there on your screen. You also see a number there for Sacramento County and for Roseville. Intense is the word that the National Weather Service is using for the storm that's predicted tonight and through tomorrow and again on Saturday. They tell us just to keep a very close eye on the forecast, especially you have to be out in this weather. Donna? We're, we've been hearing some booming. Is that thunder or, or is that from the microphone? Or? That's just pure wind. It's gusting up to 60 miles per hour. It's, it's very windy out here, but no thunder, no lightning, although it is predicted for overnight. Okay, thank you very much, Terry. And for more details on what is happening in the foothills and surrounding areas, keep it tuned right here for Express Weather, and that's coming up a little bit later. Thank you, Terry. Now, there is, of course, another week and a half of winter, so, hey, let it snow. A winter storm warning right on the mark in the Sierra. Snow is dropping all over Donner Summit. And just look who's taking full advantage of it. Yeah, but if these folks snuck up there from here, they may not make it back to the valley tomorrow. Almost two feet of snow could blanket the peaks by late Thursday. Cement trucks cranking away in Southern California as crews try to form barriers and block the hillsides from coming down. A wall of mud pushed its way already, stuff heavy enough to destroy nine homes in La Conchita. Neighbors have been told to leave for their own good. A very stern warning in the face of more storms and, as you can see, more mudslides. The courtroom exchange between Johnny Cochran and L.A. Police Detective Tom Lang got so hot today, at one point the judge cautioned O.J.'s attorney about badgering the witness. Cochran was trying to push his theory that drug hitmen were behind the murders, and that Nicole Simpson's friend Faye Resnick inadvertently caused Simpson's death by failing to pay for drugs. He asked Lang whether he thought the murders might have been a message to Resnick. In my mind, it appeared to be motivated by rage and not narcotics-related. Cochran suggested the victim's throats were slashed in a method called a Colombian necklace. 
And in other courtroom action, Judge Ito ruled the defense can see some of Detective Tom Furman's internal affairs records. The defense is trying to establish that Furman's a racist and may have tampered with evidence to set up O.J. And as court was breaking for lunch, a defense attorney reminded the judge they needed to discuss possible juror misconduct. No other details were given on that. Also, a top official in the L.A. coroner's office said police damaged their investigation by waiting so long to call them. Now, tomorrow, Tom Lang returns to the stand for his eighth day of testimony. A verdict tonight on last year's shooting of an ice cream vendor and a Sacramento teenager could be doing the rest of his growing up behind bars. The shot that killed Rambir Bansell last March came after he and his ice cream truck were robbed. So the jury found 17-year-old Paul McIntosh guilty of second-degree murder. McIntosh has confessed to the killing, though his parents insist he's innocent. And he faces 15 years to life in prison. Now, two other teens also involved were found guilty also in juvenile court today. A group of teenagers in Florida apparently got their kicks by kicking in and destroying other people's homes. And just knowing they were causing trouble wasn't enough. Would you believe they brought along a camcorder to document their destructive behavior? Some pretty shocking pictures, at least that's what cops thought when they found the stash of videotapes. The ninth of teens face criminal charges and their parents a damage bill that could total $100,000. Some parents of Rockland High students are still fighting to get rid of a controversial sex education manual. Tonight, parents met with the school board again, trying to get them to reconsider their stand to keep the handbook titled Reasonable Reasons yeah, to Wait. These codes are... I don't think it's enough to say you need to abstain and we're not giving you any sort of knowledge about what to do if you don't. There's two... Tonight's vote on the curriculum split once again. So what do the kids in Rockland think about the no sex sex education classes? Yeah, Arlani Wong talked to some of them and found the fuss created by their parents may be overblown. On its face, the student handbook involved seems harmless. Its no sex message is a tough standard to set among active teens, but many feel it's worth shooting for in a world absent of parents and church influence. How are they ever going to learn, you know, about not having sex before marriage? I mean, they're never going to learn it. So I think that they should definitely keep it in the school. Others feel it smacks too much of religion. I don't really have a religion, and so I don't think that it's right for kids that don't believe in that to have to listen to it. And some say there is sex bias here, like instructing boys how to ask for a date and girls how to accept. And then there's the cookie dough example, where premarital sex is likened to eating uncooked dough, which will make you sick. Dane Dammy opted out of the class after reading the handbook. Kind of depressing to see that people would think such things would still be, still be able to be taught today. But many students feel the abstinence curriculum is much ado about nothing, since much of what goes on in the classroom goes in one ear and out the other anyway. In school, they teach you about evolution and that if you don't believe in evolution, you still have to suffer through the course. You just learn what they're teaching you, but you don't have to believe in it. I think abstinence is good, but I don't think that the teenagers are going to listen to it, even with their parents in their school. I think they're going to do what they want to do no matter what. Lonnie Wong, Fox 40 News, Rockland. One of those stories that will continue to be controversial. Sure, and we'll no continue matter what. to update our viewers on the votes, any future votes on that issue. That's right. Well, straight ahead, some new lessons about diets and why they just don't work for some people. It could be your body is fighting the battle of the bulge. We're going to explain all that when we come okay. right back. And it looks like somebody may have goofed when they placed some ads on some buses, but they really didn't. Those are not the buses, those are people. And uh, we'll have that story for you in just a bit. America Live, the side of this year's Sammy Music Awards. We'll have the story coming up. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our Fox First forecast. It really shouldn't surprise you. Wet and windy. We're going to take a look at the outlying areas coming up in Express Weather. War.